Hey YouTube, welcome back to another LS Video 5 video. My name is Combat Roo and today we're going to be doing a city patrol in the newly released Ford FG XR6 by Moose. Now it is a highway, New South Wales Highway Patrol kit and if you're familiar with the last video that we, we did, it was actually a Holden. So this time we're jumping from Holden to Ford and it's also a model done by Moose as well. So if you're familiar with Moose's stuff, uh, it's very high quality uh, and it's very well done and well polished and as you can see uh, by the different camera angles we're getting uh, it looks absolutely beautiful it runs perfectly and it fits well with our LSPDF Australian stuff so I'm going to leave the link in the description down below and you guys can go and check that out and make sure you get it installed especially if you're an Aussie uh, it's good to see the Australian LSPDF growing especially the community itself growing as well so make sure you get behind it and you support everybody that's contributing uh, to the Australian LSPDFR so with all that said let's uh, kick today's or tonight's patrol off hopefully it's going to be a good one just doing the routine traffic stuff and we'll take some call outs when suited Alright, so this, uh, this vehicle right in front of me keeps swerving in and out of the lanes, so it could pos possibly be intoxicated. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to perform a traffic stop now, and uh, we'll have a chat to him and see why he's driving so erratically for. Looks like he stopped, so what we'll do, we'll wait for this light to go green, hopefully it'll go green soon. And we'll just pull him over closer to the curve. Like that. Perfect. Right, it's going to be occupied by two. Uh, I'm just going to have a chat to the driver. See what's going on. Good evening ma'am, uh, so the reason why I pulled you over is because uh, you were driving in and out of the lane uh, right in front of me, uh, back at the lights there. I'm just going to go ahead and ask for your license please. Alright, Miranda Collins, uh, license details. Okay, so she is a learner. Um, which is okay because she's got a passenger with her. We'll just go ahead and say that the bells are being displayed. Alright, so that's all good. Alright ma'am, so uh, I'm just going to uh, just quickly ask you to uh, breathe into this. I'm just going to give you a breath test and make sure that you're not under the influence of any alcohol. So she's coming back uh, with no alcohol in her system, which is good. Uh, let's uh, get a vehicle check. We'll run the, re uh, the registration. See what comes back. It's going to be 8 0 Tom Ben Oscar 328. So it's registered to Miranda Collins. Uh, registration all checks out, everything's good. Let's uh, go ahead and ask her some further questions. I uh, just want to make sure that uh, she said, or well, she hasn't been drinking because there's nothing in her system. Uh, what, do you have anything illegal in the vehicle? Uh, let's ask her if she's done any drugs tonight. I've done drugs, legal ones though. Okay, so she's saying that she's on medication, which, uh, well, she's done drugs, legal drugs. Uh, we'll let that go. All right, we won't, we won't, uh, we won't harass her anymore. Um, just uh, we'll leave the, we'll leave it there, and uh, we'll just issue her a uh, warning. Uh, yes, 
so we'll just uh, we'll just issue a warning. Uh, Ma'am, just make sure you drive carefully, please, and keep your eyes on the road. Right, so I didn't want to, uh, we weren't going to find her or anything like that. Everything checked out. Uh, turns out she's a L driver, so probably explains why she's driving a bit slow and a bit erratically in and out of lanes. Uh, so we'll let that one pass and uh, we'll head back out and we'll continue our patrol. Citizens report a suspicious person in uh, Burton. Alright, so we've got, apparently over on the other side of town, in Burton, we've got uh, someone illegally broad broadcasting. Uh, so we've been asked from dispatch to respond code 2. Uh, so we'll be responding code 2 to that. Uh, while we're over, over or while we are going over there, if any of you guys are watching that know the actual codes for Australian Police, uh, if you want to let me know, that'd be great. It'd be interesting to know what our codes are like, because I'm only going off the American stuff, um, and I know our stuff is different. And I remember someone making a comment uh, a while back um, about the actual codes, but I can't remember. I can't seem to find it. So yeah, if you know if you know the codes for uh, Australian police, let me know. It'd be interesting to uh, know them, so we can start using them in our videos. So it looks like it's going to be this uh, van up here. Apparently they're illegally broadcasting radio or something like that. So let's have a chat to them. And uh, we'll get them pulled over. Let me... There we go. Alright, so... Signal them to pull over. Move up a little bit further than that. Oh, that'll do. Alright, let's have a chat. See what's going on. Good evening, mate. Uh, so we're getting reports, apparently, of you doing some illegal broadcasting or something like that. So what I'm going to do is ask for your ID, please. Oh, shit. Okay, so I've got a Chris Scrolls. Uh, no alerts, license detail, P plater. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No prior convictions on that. Alright, let's use the Y key to chat to him. Um, okay, so we had reports of a radio broadcasting coming from a suspicious vehicle. And then, what can I help you with? Uh, we need to determine if your vehicle is broadcasting radio signals. It is an officer, just take a look in the back. Alright, so this guy is being pretty friendly. Uh, he's allowing us to do what we need to do. So let's go ahead uh, to the back of the van and have a look inside. How do we do that? Why? Should now take appropriate action. Uh, I can't see anything uh, really um, that he should he'd be using to illegally broadcast. Uh, I'm just going to do a vehicle registration check. Once again, the default number plate: four six Edward Edward King five seven two. Uh, Alright, well, everything checks out here, so it looks like it's just a false call. Alright, mate, sorry to uh, bother you. Everything checks out. Uh, so, yeah, you're, uh, you're good to go. Have a good night. Thank you for hitting me. Alright, so, we got reports of illegal broadcasting. Uh, we checked it out by dispatch. Everything seemed alright. Uh, it must have been just a misunderstanding uh, on their behalf or someone who's called, called it in. 
But nonetheless, uh, we're going to end the call out there. Attention all units, we are code 4. And uh, we'll continue our patrol from here. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln um, 18, citizens report a DUI in Burton. Alright, so this vehicle, uh, this Humvee, is acting very, very strange. Uh, they're sort of driving uh, in and out of lanes beforehand, uh, and they stopped in the middle of a red red light. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're just going to get them pulled over. Question them. Officers report a criminal resistance. And it looks like they don't want to stop, so we're going to be in pursuit of a. It's going to go ahead and say it's a Humvee. It's going to be occupied by two. Let uh, other local units We've got know that they're in pursuit. In, uh, As you can see, we've got other highway unit, highway Radio patrol units uh, assisting. Charlie Four, Roger that. We're in the area. Let them take lead. We'll sit back. Wow. Oh my god, that's one thing about, uh, you know, AI, uh, they're pretty reckless, uh, they're really, really rough and aggressive. No, now they just want to hang back, I don't get it, anyway, let's, uh, let's take lead, see if we can persuade these people to pull over. Looks like they're heading out of the city and heading over to, uh, I don't know where this leads to. Let's, uh, let's let state patrol all the other units we know that we're coming through. In Hill. We've got about five units with us now, so I'm going to go ahead and get in front and see if we can slow them down. As you can see, it's occupied uh, male driver, female passenger. And now they're getting a bit aggressive as well. So our main concern, obviously, is uh, safety for us and for uh, the public. We do want to pull them over, and we do want to arrest them, but we don't want to harm anyone in the mean in the meantime. Alright, let's uh, let's switch, oh, wrong button, sorry, let's uh, switch the tactics over to uh, slightly aggressive. See if we can get a box, see if we can box them in somehow. Well. Doesn't look like they really want to stop. Uh, they're not going to give us any option but to try and perform a box maneuver. Right, let's see if we can get him now. Get the driver out. Alright, give it up! Oh, I just ran over the police officer. Alright, so we've got the passenger out. We'll let the units uh, chase her while we uh, deal with this guy. I can use some help over here! We're going to get a, since we've got him arrested and we're losing them, we're going to get a local air unit we in. We have units requesting helicopter support, support over Make the sure Redwood Lights them. track. Andrew Franzone. We're in the air and on our way. Let's check him out real quick. See what comes back for him. Andrew Franzone. Uh, license details. No prior convictions. Alright, let's get him stood up. Place him in the back of the vehicle and then we'll uh, catch up with the pursuit. The back, come on, come on. So it looks like it's still going, so we're going to have to change the tactics to full aggressive now and hopefully they can uh, box her in. I'm 
gonna call for some more we additional have units. In, need of in uh, Grande Sonora Desert. Right here, dispatch. I'll check it out. See if we can perform a pit on the vehicle and then the AI might be able to then start to box them in if we don't get pitted by our own unit. Right, looks like they're, looks like they're attempting to try and pit up, but it's not working out, so I'm going to see if I can do it. One lady, pull over. Wow. All right, there we go. We got her. All right, let's go. Box him in. Box him in. Let's go, guys. Come on. Oh. All right. So she looks like she's stuck. Let's see if we can get the jump on her now. Out of the vehicle now. Get out of the vehicle. Ah, uh, missed her that time. Wow. I don't have any uh, spike strips that I can use, unfortunately. And I've set the tactics to full auto aggressive. So hopefully, I should try to pit her now. Let's go for it now. Almost, almost. Alright, there she goes. Come on guys, box her in. So many of you. Alright, there we go. Finally. No. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna try and get in front of her. Stop her and then I'm just gonna have to force her out of the vehicle. Just grab her and pull her straight out. Does look cool though, like all these vehicles. Uh, all these New South Wales police vehicles together. It's kind of mad. Alright, here we go. Damn it. Oh, it looks like she just lost control. Oh, it looks oh, like she's lost control, isn't she? Yep, she's bailing. So we're going to be on pursuit on foot. Get the taser out. Alright. You got a taser. Ma'am, you're under arrest. Get on the ground. Police! Oh, Stop whatever up. the hell you're doing! Give it up, it's all up. over. Alright. Cool. So we've got the female driver in custody. Now, why in the hell did you cause all that fuss for? Why don't you just stop when I ask you to stop? Monica Matthewson. Wow, all of that for that. Let's see why she decided to run for. Uh, we're gonna release her. We'll just sit down here. All right, records check. Monica Matthewson. Uh, license. So she's a P plater. The license is valid, I don't know what was the deal with that. Let's uh, let's breath test her, see maybe she was under the influence of alcohol. Attention, this is dispatch. We have solicitation in uh, the Alamo C, unit respond code 2. Okay, so zero uh, alcohol in her blood. Adam I'm going to go blood. ahead Stop and uh, Roger. I'm gonna do a drug swab. swab. See if she's got any drugs in her system. True. Okay, so she's uh, she's got marijuana in her system, so that could be a reason why she didn't want to stop. Uh, she doesn't have any prior convictions though, so she wouldn't have really got into that much trouble. Let's uh, let's check her, make sure she doesn't have the actual Attention drugs on her. Citizens report a carjacking in. Uh, uh, <laughs> how ironic is that? Get out of jail free card. You're going to be needing that.
painkillers, butterfly knife, and empty bottle of piss water, piss was a lager, and a GoPro. So nothing too detrimental. Um, let's get a prisoner transport out for her. So she's gonna be, uh, yeah, she's gonna be charged with uh, resisting arrest, aggravated assault. I guess, because she ran over officers a couple of times. Uh, so a whole lot of shit that's going to go against her name. Let's check this guy out. I just want to do a quick uh, breath test on him. See if he's under the influence of anything. Which doesn't really matter because he wasn't driving. No. Let's, uh, while we're here, we may as well give him a rock swap as well. And he's also got cannabis in his system. So these two have obviously been smoking a bit of weed before they went driving. Get a prisoner transport out to pick him up. And while that's all happening, just quickly go over the vehicle and see if we can actually find any illegal drugs in the actual vehicle itself. Shave keys, nothing else. What is this guy up to? And he just disappeared. Alright. Anyway, uh, so we didn't really find nothing on that. So we'll get a tow truck out for the ve uh, for the this vehicle, which is a Patriot. I've really got to start learning my vehicle Attention names. All Sandy Shore units. We have a domestic disturbance in Sandy Shores. Alright, so all of that call is, uh, well that pursuit ended. Uh, we managed to arrest them. Sort of worked out why they actually uh, ran. It was probably because they had marijuana in their system. Um, and she shouldn't have been driving, especially a pea plater. But uh, that's done with that and we'll head back into the city and we'll continue our patrol. Attention Unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert for a drive-by attack. Alright, so we're getting an ANPR hit for a possible vehicle that's been involved in a drive-by attack. Now it looks like, uh, by the looks of it, they're two streets away. So let's, uh, let's try and get there as quickly as we can. And check out this vehicle, make sure it's the right vehicle we're after. So I'll go ahead and cut the siren now. Looks like they're heading down. They're heading straight past Attention us. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. Approach with caution. Okay, so we're just going to perform a traffic stop. And we'll question it. Wow. Question the driver. Hopefully they don't take off. get them to go out from the middle of the uh, traffic light, we'll get them up here, a bit further up, a bit more, a bit more, that'll do there. Okay, so let's, uh, let's open up the computer and get some more details on this call if we can. Uh, it doesn't look like we actually can. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, request for some backup. We'll go code 2. Get a local patrol unit to help us out. Dispatch, Ocean 1 here. We can take that if no one else wants it. Looks like they'll be responding. Uh, so, yeah, with the with the call out, uh, it's saying that they're, apparently the vehicle's been in a drive-by shooting. 
So if that's the case, there's a possibility that uh, any of these individuals could be armed. So we want to take extra precaution. Uh, that's why I've asked for an extra unit. Uh, okay, they're getting out. One's got a gun. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Let's get units down here straight away. On the ground. Drop it. Drop it. Alright, that's it. They're going down. I'm gonna need EMS out here straight away. Attention all units, medical aid requested in Hollis. Officer wow. report a civilian shot and ambulance requested from uh, Still up, I thought it was down. Oh, shit. Give me some cover. Right, looks like she's down. Is she down? This is dispatch. We are right. at four. No wow. units required. That's why I didn't want to get out without backup. So it looks like we've got two of them down. She friggin' full got out with a with a Tech 9 or Mac or whatever the heck it was. I managed to cop a few rounds. Where's the guy? Okay, so we've got one guy here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to close the road off. Let's put some uh, some barriers down. Oh, damn. See if we can close it off. Okay, her body despawned, unfortunately. Still got this guy here. So let's wait for EMS to get on the scene. Just gonna move. Yep. Run over his head. Wow. These people are gonna run straight over this guy. Um, no, you can't do that. Let's place a marker right on him. There we go. Alright, so let's see if we can at least work out uh, if these people are actually involved in the, uh, in the drive-by shooting. No fucking way! That's really what we want to work out. I can't keep my kids waiting! You want me to lose my visitation? Just calm down, someone's dead. We're trying to get him up. This guy serious? Stop beeping or get out of the vehicle. Come on! I've gotta pick my kids up! Alright, so they managed we managed to get him up, which is a good thing. Uh, we'll see what his name is and then I'm gonna run his name and see if we can link to anything uh, to the any information with the call call out that we got? Crap. All units, code four. All right, Mark Goring. What the heck is this guy doing? Get out! Police! Why did I... Stop whatever the hell oh, you're doing! Oh my goodness! Got out with the actual machine gun. Don't you dare get back in! Get out! Stop! Police! Oh my gosh! Alright, I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna clear the uh, removal sign so everyone can be on their way. You little dick. Um, I'm gonna search. I just want to search the vehicle real quick, make sure that there's nothing illegal in there, like we usually do. Okay, so nothing really important with that. I'm gonna run the registration of the vehicle.
four three Edward John uh, Y seven seven nine Jennifer Lewis. Uh, I don't know if we can get any further information with that, but I'm not going to really bother. Uh, we'll just get a tow truck out here, pick up the vehicle. Let's pick this guy up. Trying to steal the car, uh, but I'm going to release him anyway. LSPD, don't make me shoot ya! That's freaking crazy. No, oh, I didn't want you to stop. Anyway, um, what I'm going to leave the episode there for today, guys. Uh, it was a pretty, pretty interesting one. And there you go. Someone's just trying to take my car, and they can't get in because it's locked. But uh, I'm going to leave the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you back again for some more LSPDFR videos.